So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? Mm. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Eh, certe volte Dutch sa essere veramente un figlio di puttana, eh? Però, vabbè. Da chi dobbiamo andare adesso? Da Lenny? Lenny! Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Jose seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to Reckon there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some fools. Eh, vabbè. Andiamo. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think these were the folks buying moonshine off of one of those hillbilly families. Of course. Of course what? They tell you this place is changing. But you got... Reformed slavers, closed door dealing with lost cause revisionists, and well, who knows what else? You know, a good old boy is a good old boy in the good old state of Lemoyne. It's Peckerwood country, all right. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, no. 
Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Ok. Non promette anche qui ovviamente come in ogni missione niente di buono. Ma eh, quella chiesa lì sarà piena di stronzi, io sono sicuro. Look at this feel. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care. Questo, to... questo è un treno? Era la musica. Ok, ho chiesto la musica e partita la musica. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Ah, esamina, ok. Che cazzo? Ah, e la esamini disegnandola. Hey, I'll lead you there. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Ma va? Chissà. Che cazzo è? Quello è un animale. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mouths up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Have you seen the thing? Quanto mi piace fare il cecchino. Yes. Almost a militia. You got men covering the house. Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? Got a Gatling gun up there too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, and I'll start shooting. That might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. So, what do we do? Ma, io sparerei a qualsiasi spareremo alla dinamite, dai. 
You gonna... I'm gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <ride> Fine by me. Anche se io quello là lo ammazzerei, poi faccio scoprire la mia vita. Allora, uno. Sì, perché la dinamite è un po' troppo facile, mi piace sparare. Però, vabbè, facciamolo. Yeah! Vieni bello, vieni bello! Sì, sì, in corsa, in corsa! Headshot! Bene. Bene, bene. Se affievolisce la musica vuol dire che non c'è più nessuno, si spera. E questo è anche vero. Vediamo dove cazzo sono queste armi. Vabbè, quindi in casa non c'erano. Lenny mi ha chiamato qui. E allora apriamo ste crate. E sali. Ok. Come on. Quella! Jackpot! Vabbè, ci portiamo via tutto. In effetti, la cosa più logica da fare. Tutti in carrozza! We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Sì, viaggio rapido, andiamo. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Not bad. Not bad at all. 